keeper. Yes, I am. And my, my brother's keeper. Yes, I am. And I'm my brother's keeper. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I am. right now y'all let's set some ground rules if i say anything tonight anybody got a problem with you got one option what you can do about it absolutely nothing because if you think you want to walk up on this stage this ain't the oscars and if you walk your ass up here you ain't nominated for with these f***ing hands. Oh, we gonna pop the rest of the year, nigga. Every time you see me do a show, pop. I ain't wanna start the show like that. You gonna hit my f***ing brother? Cause your gave you a side eye? Yo, YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? Trey back again to hit y'all another video. Hope y'all are having a very great day. Hope y'all are having a very great weekend. Also, my day is going absolutely stupendous. Big shout out to all the channel members, all subscribers of the Trey King Show family. And much love to each and every last one of you all. And you all, we have a story, yes. Kind of like an update, but not really an update. Now, I was waiting for this to come out because I knew one thing. When I see Will Smith walk his ass up on that stage and basically smack Chris Rock and a lot of people say that slap was fake because what they're trying to say is that when Chris Rock leaned over why would a person lean over to get slapped but uh I would like to correct some people how would Chris know that he was going to be slapped unless it was all fake but whether it was fake or not it was totally disrespectful now a lot of news and speculation have came out since that incident took place this past Sunday but just as recently as really yesterday, last night, you had Chris Rock, brother Tony Rock, in concert in Raleigh, North Carolina at the PNC Arena, where he basically said what everybody was waiting on him to say. I knew I was waiting because I was like, you know, I remember back in 2017, around February, when Tony Rock basically exposed Steve Harvey. Who the fuck <laughs> picked Steve Harvey as the representative for all things black? Steve Harvey, let's keep this shit funky. Steve Harvey is on his third marriage. Mm -hmm. His third wife was mistress to his second wife. <laughs> Yet, black people have anointed this motherfucker <laughs> the oracle when it comes to black dating. This nigga wrote a book on dating. You want your third wife, homie? It, with all respect, why can we pick a nigga that know what he's talking about? For being the liar that he is or that he still was. But Tony Rock is the one that put the info out, first of all, when he said that Steve Harvey should not be giving nobody advice. And basically, he is not the oracle on giving relationship advice, especially after being married three times. And also, after marrying a woman who happened to be Marjorie, who have a baby. I don't know if this is for certain or not, so I'm going to say the word allegedly. Who allegedly have a baby by two first cousins who happen to be drug dealers. And uh matter of fact, I think one of those guys had just got recently pardoned a few years ago when Barack Obama left office. But anyway, so Tony Rock has always been known for speaking his mind. So some of you all may have already heard the footage, so I'm not going to keep you all too long. I just want to give you all a quick update. But anyway. I would tell the rest as I break down the story. I'm going to read a quick snippet from this story, and I am going to get my opinion, all of it. <clears throat> Surely, as we go, Tony Rock blasts Will Smith at April Fool's Day comedy show, and I was just waiting for this, you know, and Tony Rock is the younger brother of Chris Rock, so I can understand the younger brother getting mad about you so-called trying to pick on the bigger brother. And you also have a lot of comedians weighing in on this situation also with Will Smith slapping Chris Rock. You have comedians like D.L. Hewley giving their opinions. Uh, comedians like Corey Holcomb, D. Ray Davis. You have all kinds of comedians basically saying what they would have done. But one thing about it, me being the oldest of, you know, four, so I really understood where Tony Rock was coming from because me being the oldest of three other siblings, there's four of us, 
got uh, two brothers and a sister. I understand what it means to be very protective of your loved ones. Look, me and my brother and sister may get into it, may fight, but don't you dare lay a hand on them. Now, I agree with that concept right there. Anyway, now Tony Rock addressed the infamous slap Will Smith laid on his brother Chris Rock at the 2022 Oscar once again. And, you know, it's a sad situation because I also heard that Will Smith was resigning from the Academy Awards, which means he would not be taking place in the Academy Awards anymore. And a lot of people are basically saying, you know, what I've been hearing, that mostly women also saying that Jada Pinkett does not have alopecia. I don't know that to be true because I'm not a woman, of course, but most of the people are saying the reason why she's suffering from hair loss, and I don't know this to be true, I'm just saying what they're saying, is because she bleached her hair, blonde her hair so much. And women, some of you all may know, if you put a lot of chemicals in your head, if you put a lot of bleach in your head, sooner or later, your hair will fall out. Now, I'm not saying that coming from my mouth. I'm saying that because that's what other people are saying. Most of them are females. Go check out the video. Anyway, now on Friday, April the 1st, Tony took to the stage inside the PNC Arena in Raleigh, North Carolina, as part of his show, which basically called the No Remorse Company Tour, which started on April Fool's Day. In a clip captured by audience spectators, you can see Tony Rock basically on stage open up a can of whoop ass on Will Smith. A lot of people are saying basically, how can Tony Rock do this when Will and Jada Pinkett Smith also produced the show, was a creator of the show that he was in a few years back. I don't know if this show is still on. It's called All of Us. It has Dwayne Martin, uh, Tisha Campbell in there, and also Lisa Ray, if I'm not mistaken. Tony Rock was also in that show also. So when I heard him going at Will Smith, I was like, well, damn, you know, how can Tony Rock go at Will Smith? But then you have to understand, like they say, blood is thicker than water. Tony Rock says this right here, because if you think you're going to walk up on this stage, this ain't the motherfucking Oscars, Tony Joe. If you walk up here, you ain't nominated for nothing but these fucking hands. And that's exactly what he said. I ain't even want to start the show like that. He continued. You're going to hit my fucking brother. And you know you're mad when you say it like that. You're going to hit my fucking brother because your bitch gave you a side eye. And that's what he said. Now, when he called Jada Pinky Smith, a bitch. I was like, wow, you know, out of all things to say, but I understand him being angry. But a lot of people were saying, if you go back and look at the clip of the Oscars that night, that Will Smith was laughing at first. And then Jada Pinkett Smith had like a stern look on her face. And I guess Will Smith happened to look at Jada. And that's when he decided to tighten up and approach Chris Rock. Because basically, Will Smith was laughing at the joke at first. And then you also have people weighing in saying that the joke wasn't even that serious for Will Smith to get mad at, to walk on stage and slap Chris Rock. Even though some people are saying the slap was real, some people are saying that the slap was fake. But one thing is not fake is the people who are really upset and affected by this whole story. But my thing is this right here. I mean, how can people sit up here and try to justify wrongdoing? You know, I understand that both Will Smith and Chris Rock was wrong. Some people saying that Will was defending his wife. Some people saying that Chris Rock was just making an innocent joke and that he didn't mean anything by it. That's for you to decide. But one thing I will say this right here, when family are involved, it don't matter what you've done for a person. If you love your brother or your sister or anybody in your family, guess what you're going to do? You're going to take up for them. So I just want to hit you out with this video. You all can let me know what you think about this story in the comment section. But one thing I do admire about Tony Rock, and I will leave this, is the fact that he always speaks his mind and he stands for what he believes in. You know what I'm saying? But I was just basically waiting for Tony to speak about what happened to his brother Chris at the Oscars. You know, and I believe one thing that family should stay together. But also, you must call people out when they're wrong. So anyway, let me know what you think about this story in the comment section. If you like the video, push that like button. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel and become a channel member. Also, share the video with your family and friends. So next time, you all stay blessed. And I will see you all soon on the next Trey King Show. And guess what? I'm out.